But our religion teaches us that these aspirations are well and good if they are minimized and the main aspiration in your life is success in the next life. When that's gone and these are the only things you look up to in life, then you're deceived, you're deluded into thinking these are goals to li worth living for. This is غَرَّتْهُمْ وَالْحَيَاةُ dunya. Their goals were in the wrong place. Their motives were in the wrong place. You gotta watch these like, I really enjoy watching these like weird self-help videos. Or they just tell you, man, you just gotta make the money. You can get rich. What are your goals in life? Set some real goals. And it's great for like Muslims in the sense that we never lose sight of, hopefully, <laughs> never lose sight of the Akhirah. But man, for non-Muslims, that stuff is poison, I tell you, in some sense. Because that's all you're looking for is what? Just career, I accomplished my goals, I've, I've attained what I, what I sought to attain in this life. You know? For the Muslim, we're never done. We're never done. And these weren't our goals. These successes in dunya, Allah will give us if we have the right work ethic. You are reading Qur'an. When you're reading Qur'an, don't have TV, you're watching TV and reading Qur'an at the same time. Just Qur'an, nothing else. When is the halaqa going on and Qur'an is being explained? Tafsir happening at the masjid. Don't check your text messages and listen to... No, 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 just listen. Qur'an. Drop everything. This is Qur'an. وَأَنْسِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ So that you may be shown mercy. In other words, if you know what's good for you, if you know what's good for you, you will be quiet when you listen to Qur'an. And Qur'an, by the way, the Bani Israel, when Allah woke them up, what did He say? خُذُوا مَا أَتَيْنَاكُمْ بِي قُوَّةٍ This is the Qur'an's version now of that. How do you hold on to Qur'an with quwa? When it, whenever it's recited, listen to it carefully and remain silent. Just take in. وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ فِي نَفْسِكَ And mention your master inside of yourself. تَضَرُّعًا وَخِيفَةً Full of humility and powerlessness. And at the same time, full of fear. دُونَ الْجَهْرِ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ Without even saying a word out of your speech. Don't even open your mouth in remembering Allah. In other words, there's one way to remember Allah, you know, to recite the Qur'an. فَلَا تَجْهَرْ بِصَلَاتِكَ وَلَا تُخَافِتْ بِهَا وَابْتَغِي بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ سَبِيلًا Qur'an says that. But on the other hand, there's the real remembrance of Allah for which you don't even need to move your mouth. Remember Allah, mention Allah without even opening your tongue. Just quietly and humbly, without even making a loud, دُونَ الْجَهْرِ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ Without making a loud noise. So you, even if you make dhikr, make it a very low voice. Very low voice. Only you know and Allah knows this conversation is happening. بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْآصَالِ in the morning time and the multiple shades of evening. Asal is jama'ah. Ghudu is mufrad. Ghudu is singular, asal is plural. One of the benefits of that is there's only one morning salat. And there's multiple evening prayers. The beginning of asal is asr, then maghrib, then isha. So asal, the plural, implies for each shade of the evening, you have a prayer. But ghudu is one morning prayer, which is what? Fajr, right? Wala takun. And don't you become min al ghafilin. How appropriate. Don't be from those who become heedless. The, pow the, the remedy against heedlessness is remembrance. And before Allah mentioned remembrance, He mentioned what's the best form of remembrance, which was Qur'an itself.